If you need to buy or sell a property, then perhaps choosing an estate agent to do so might be the way to go. Or is it? Here to explain more to us is private property CEO Simon Bray. Simon, so good to see you again. You too, Leah. So we're talking estate agents this morning. Can you tell me what exactly is their role? Well, I mean, you see those boards all over the street, you know. And so estate agents are a huge part of the real estate market in South yeah. Africa. But a lot of people don't really understand exactly what it is to be an estate agent until they have to come and sell their home. They take all of the difficult parts of the sales process and they make them easy. So uh, they tell you what your property is worth in a kind of unbiased, yeah. market-related way. Uh, they certainly do all the hard graft in terms of sitting at show days and showing people through your property and doing all the viewings, which can be you know, quite a hassle. Yeah. Uh, they negotiate. I mean, not a lot of us are great at haggling True. on price. And, True. And estate agents are, I mean, they're born to do that. Yeah. And most importantly, they market your property. So they give your property access to the broadest possible audience that uh, it could receive through platforms like ourselves. So we partner with estate agents across South Africa right. to bring their listings to life on private property. So if I were looking to sell a property, how do I go about choosing the right estate agent? Well, I mean, it's like anything in life. You really want to research it well. You want to get an understanding of what's going on in your local market. Platforms like ours can certainly help. Uh, you want to see who are the active agents uh, in your market. Who are the guys that are getting good referrals? It's great uh, to talk to your friends that have recently sold and see what their experience was like with an with a estate agent. Uh, and if you really don't have any other touch points like that, our website also provides a great service where you can find estate agents in your area. You just type in the suburb that you're looking to sell in and uh, we give you a list of, of recommended agents. All right. Uh, I think the one thing that's quite important to understand is that estate agents are actually professional individuals. Mm -hmm. They're qualified, they've got certification, so it's important to ask them for that certification when they're coming to market your property as well. I believe in letting the professionals do the <laughs> job. So on the flip side of that coin, what if I were looking to buy? Would I need a, an estate agent as well? Well, it's an interesting question. You know, In some markets around the world, there's an agent that represents the interests of the buyer and there's an agent that represents the interest in the seller. In South Africa, we have a one agent uh, mentality. Mm -hmm. So usually one agent will show buyers around the property as well as talk to the seller. Uh, and that's why property portals become a very valuable asset to buyers because there isn't really the buying side agent. Mm -hmm. So the portal becomes their opportunity to see everything that's in the market, to acquaint themselves with properties even before they go and visit them. Simon, so I know anybody watching at home, and personally, I would like to know this as well. Homeowners, what can they expect from their estate agents? Well, the critical first step is to ask your agent, what is their marketing plan? Okay. You know, they're going to be marketing your listing. They're going to be putting it uh, online, mm -hmm. in newsprint. Uh, they're going to be marketing with for sale boards. They're going to be marketing with show days. So it's important to understand what the steps are that they're going to take yeah. to support the marketing of the property. Because obviously, the, the broader the audience that sees mm -hmm. your property on the market, the more likely you are to get the sale that you want. Yeah. So a marketing plan is all important, but you should also expect a lot of support in the sale process, okay. you know, for sale documentation, advice on which attorney to use, advice on how the new buyer should perhaps find finance for the home. Uh, and that's the kind of professional support that you'll get from an estate agent. So it's also knowing what the right questions are that you have to ask as a homeowner as well. Absolutely, you know, and it's worth tapping into resources and finding out what, uh, what advice uh, others have got on, on the issue. Uh, before you sell. Wonderful. Okay, so I think it is time for our Simon Bray tip of the day. You know, when you're talking estate agents, uh, you can look at the commission and think that it's quite a hefty price to pay. But paying for professional service is a lot better than paying for amateur service. So if you find the right agent, they're absolutely worth the money. Once again, quality over quantity, yeah? For I sure. love it. Thank you so much, Simon. Well, there you have it. A very helpful tip when it comes to your property. You can also visit the private property website on www.privateproperty.co.za to get all the information you might need.